Uh, hey, little blue fish, are you lost? Then I have a big bite of your load. Ad Astra Applesauce. Hey, this is Ticolati, and today I will show you the things you should avoid when decorating your Serenity Pot. I have gathered a few comments from my TikTok posts, and they all have something in common. They strongly dislike the load limit. However, you may know load limit as a disadvantage and your worst enemy. It can actually become your best friend if you get to know it better. For myself, I consider it as a friend because it tells me when to stop decorating and at the same time, I could also plan ahead which furnishings to use based on their load values. Just one of the strategies I use is that I make a layout of my designs um, just using the same boulders, rocks, and trees and maybe other uh, tiny details that I know that would not hurt the load limit. In other words, I use items that have a lower load value. And remember, these values are not shown on the actual item in-game. They are actually hidden. And I just put down a link in my description on where to find these values. Or simply just Google Serenity Pot Load Value Chart. I'm sure you'll find it. In this video, I would not go through all the items because I only want to focus on the few things that I personally wouldn't recommend to overuse in your designs based on my decorating experience. So the first one are companions, especially Paimon. So for the companions, load value is 1200 and Paimon is like 1500. The second one are animals and small critters, including Kagero Maru, the one you got from the event. So the animals and critters load value would range from 350 to 600 and Kagero Maru is 1000. And I miss some of the Inazuma events, so I don't have this little puppy. Which it really doesn't matter for me because I would have no space for this guy at all in my Serenity teapot. But if you really want a companion or an animal in certain designs, you could place them first before even starting to place the rest of the items down. Note that this design with companions and animals will lessen the number of items you can place in your realm, especially if the main building is in the same area. The next type of items I would not recommend placing in your teapot unless it's like the most important thing in the design are the game mechanics, especially the balloon shooting game. The load value of leisure device on the pulse is 3850. That's huge. And the rest of the game mechanics are the same as a companion, which is 1200. So moving on to our little basic math experiment. As of this time, I will only cover the load capacity of the exterior map of the Serenity Pot. So before the Genshin Impact version 1.6 update, the maximum load capacity of each area is only 8800. And at that time, it was still Mihoyo. They have decided to improve the Serenity Pot load by increasing the maximum to 10,000. Additionally, there's also load discounts for certain items when you place down more than one of that same item. For instance, the load value for this Unmoving Kingstone is 35. If you add another one, the value of the second copy of it will only be 21. So that's a total of 56. So prior to the 1.6 update, it would have costed you 70 load value for these two stones. So far, I've introduced you to some of these variables that would greatly affect the load limit. And now let's move on to the other part of this experiment, which is not cooking Paimon, of course. But let's just use companions here. Since we know the value of each area of our realm is 10k load, and we know that each companion is 1200, I will place down 8 of them just in a line like you're farming for friendship experience. Doing the quick math, that's already 96% of our load capacity. Now, for our next variable, uh, we will have to find an animal that will cost around 400 so that we could really fill up the load capacity as close to 100%. And while I was browsing to that load value list, which is in my description, I have found the perfect test subject. Ta-da! This Inazuman crane costs exactly 400 load. 
which gave us a perfect score of 10,000 load. But then where are the numbers here? They are hidden, right? I've tried placing down these animals which costed probably more than 400. I always get these pop-ups. Except for this crab. So red doesn't really mean it's exactly full, it just means that we're almost there. But wait, remember that unmoving kingstone? So the first unmoving kingstone will cost you 35 load value, and then the second one is 21, and so as the third one, and so on and so forth. So I'm gonna pick up this Inazuma and Crane, and see how many unmoving kingstones I could fit in, in place of that. And there it is. The conclusion to this math problem is that one Inazuma and Crane is almost equivalent to 18 unmoving kingstones. And you could really see the difference here, and it also doesn't make sense, but overall, this experiment is just to help us teapot enthusiasts and beginners to visualize the hidden values behind the load capacity. And there's a potential here that there was an imbalance of the load value distribution, but this may change in the future updates, so having more teapot players who are willing to send Hoyoverse some feedback uh, through their surveys, Let's just hope that they will take action and maybe even give us some tiny bit of sprinkles at least. For now, the least we could do is maybe just wait and decorate. That was so cheesy. But seriously, if you don't have that motivation to decorate your Serenity teapot now, I would recommend to craft items daily or buy them from the Realm Depot. That way you have enough furnishings to uh, work with in the future if you ever wanted to start decorating your serenity teapot. Feel free to share your own experiences and decorating the serenity teapot and let me hear your thoughts and feedback about this video in the comment section. Thanks for watching! Check out some of my serenity teapot designs that may inspire and motivate you to become a scary teapot main. See ya!